Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, checking out my Facebook page and seeing on the Marvel Legends community page that people have been posting up images of in-package Marvel Legends that have not been released yet. We have figures from the Captain America wave here, which we've just seen on display at New York Comic Con. You're looking at Cottonmouth and Mockingbird over here, looking just as cool as we'd seen in New York, so it looks like they're going to be pretty accurate to the prototypes that we'd seen over there. As well, we have Captain America in his classic outfit, along with Sharon Carter, looking really dope. And then we have Taskmaster right here with the interchangeable heads. Very happy to see that. And then we're also getting Whirlwind. Looking very accurate over there. We're digging that one. And then we also have Scourge. Looking pretty cool. The Scourge figure looks actually quite awesome. And I'm not very familiar with the character, but all those weapons and everything. I don't know. Just looks like a really cool figure. And we're also getting the Spider-Man wave. So we have images of the Spider-Man figures. And you're looking at Spider-Gwen over here. And this just looks like it's going to be a very cool figure to have. I'm stoked for this. I really like the interchangeable head thing that they have with this one especially with the little extra hoodie piece that you could attach to the back if you want her maskless i think that is really cool i'm very excited for the beetle too i really like that character a lot i've been reading superior foes of spider-man in my marvel unlimited account and then morbius oh my goodness i'm very very excited for morbius over here uh, we've been needing a new Morbius figure for a very, very long time, and finally we're getting one. Remember, uh, Sean Long gave me one with a jacked up face. You know, he didn't sell it to me or anything, I just asked for it because it was all melted and everything. So hopefully with this one, we will not get any melted faces or anything on our Morbius figures. And you can see that he has the two arms right there for the Absorbing Man, which I'm really, really excited for. Then we have Jack-O-Lantern over here, again, uh, reusing the ghost mold. I really like that big old head sculpt. The sickle looks really cool. The broomstick, I mean, it just looks like a very, very good looking figure. Then lastly, we're looking at Venom over here. Oh man, I'm stoked for this Venom figure. Glad that he has the interchangeable heads. I don't remember seeing the interchangeable hands though. If you remember seeing that, let me know. Uh, but for me, that's a new thing for this figure. So I may have seen it before and forgotten, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Really excited for this Venom figure that are using the Hyperion body mold and it just looks like it's going to work now the neck does look a little long but if you put that other head on there with the longer jaw and the tongue sticking out and everything it's gonna look a lot better I think you know and then of course he does have the two heads that come with absorbing man again I'm very stoked for that absorbing man so let me know what you guys think uh, you should see images up soon over at marvelousnews.com if they're not there already and stay tuned for more videos hit the like button and subscribe I'll catch you guys later peace